Well, the controversy over a racially charged photo of Bel Air High School students is not going away. No, the pictures circling social media shows students using cut out letters to spell the N word on their shirts. Parents say not enough is being done to address the situation. ABC 2 News, Brenda McNamara has the story tonight from Bel Air. Harford County Public Schools says that this situation has been handled and this kind of behavior will not be tolerated. Meanwhile, some parents have created a change.org petition calling for more punishment that has really taken off over the weekend. Honestly, I was disgusted, um, disappointed, um, hurt. And Janine Keats is not alone. More than 16,000 people have signed the petition calling to expel the six Bel Air High students seen in this photo and a seventh who school officials said took the picture. I think that there should be zero tolerance for something like this. Send a strong message to, to not just to them, but to anybody else that thinks that this is okay. Harford County Schools could not confirm how the students were punished, but did say the photograph, which shows students spelling out the N-word in school, was thoroughly investigated and the students disciplined. Keats says they were wearing letters for Spirit Week. The children were encouraged to wear letters on their shirts and gather with friends to spell a word, kind of promoting school spirit. Um, and these children chose to spell out this word. Um, so my concern was, is this what they consider the spirit of the school? It literally turned into something. It turned into a disaster, basically. Keats's daughter is a sophomore at Bel Air High. She says she's disgusted, but not surprised. This picture just kind of put a magnifying glass over everything. But I would like to see everybody come together and just get over it. Like, we're literally the same, except our skin color is different. In a statement following the incidents, Harford County Schools said the school staff, the administration, and the entire student body will have an opportunity to work towards an inclusive, supportive, and respectful learning environment. A growing number of parents say they want stronger action before a growing problem gets worse. Let's start with just a conversation. Let's talk about it. Um, I think when things like this happen, we want to kind of hush hush and sweep things under the rug. We need to have an open dialogue about this. Harford County Public Schools also says that going forward, its continued professional development for staff will focus on cultural responsiveness and inclusivity. At Bel Air High School, Brendan McNamara, ABC2 News.